Hello everyone, this is Jesse Guzman with Concentris and welcome back to another short and sweet video. In today's video, it is a very simple one regarding reports and specifically we'll talk about balance sheet in this case. And I wanna show you, um, NetSuite typically shows you reports as a total and as uh, we know, much of us, many of us like to see it uh, month to month. So I'll show you very quickly how to set that up. Uh, once you see it, it's very obvious. Um, and uh, with a few tweaks, we can even make it um, more specific to certain timeframes. So let me show you what this looks like. So we're gonna go to reports, financial balance sheet. That's the one I'm gonna use. And let's not worry about customizations right now. Let's just go straight into balance sheet so you can see what this looks like. So we're gonna open up the balance sheet. This is a demo account, it's a very old demo account, but we have a lot of financials here. And here we are, we have a, a great balance sheet as of February, 2021. And we can see here our, our totals, but let's say we wanted to see the balance sheet month after month. So the first thing we would do here, um, and if you don't have it here, we'll make sure to have it added, but <clears throat> we would look here for our uh, period. As you can tell, there is no period in this case. And that many times has to do with we are viewing a consolidated view of the report, right? So in this case, I'm gonna drop us down to this US one version. You know, let's say we wanna see for US subsidiary one, we'll go ahead and refresh it. Here's our balance sheet. We still have plenty of data in it. And now when you click on the column button, which is very important, column button represents this top here we are going to select accounting period. And accounting period is very important. Obviously this is set, set up based on the accounting periods that you have set up in NetSuite. So in most cases, people use months and we'll go ahead and refresh it. And now when this refreshes, you will see there are all the months represented here as far back as we have data. Now, remember this is a demo account. so. I have data as far back as uh, what appears to start here in March of 2015. Um, and we have data rolling all the way through. Now, again, demo count, you notice much of it is not changing, but in theory here, it would change um, month after month. Now, let's say, um, in, let's say you were not happy with viewing the whole thing. You wanna narrow this down. Now this can get a little tricky, but I'll show you a quick little trick on how to do this and we'll set this up through filters. Admittedly, reports are not always the most user-friendly, but let's go ahead and click customize. Obviously, this is assuming you have the permission to customize reports. Um, and if you don't, you can just talk to your admin. So I'm gonna first and foremost, rename this to balance sheet uh, with the filter, okay? Notice here, um, we have a period filter, which is what we were using, which was the as of 2021, right? Um, what I'm gonna go through here is open up financial and look for the date column. And let's go ahead and add that, okay? So here we are. Uh, oh, sorry, grabbed the wrong field. The date column is what we want. So we're gonna leave it as between. Now, obviously you can play with any of these that you like. I'm gonna make mine very simple. And I'm gonna say, let's say from 1-1-2017 to 1-1 to, sorry, 12-31-2017. Set it. I know here it's a little um, older, but I wanna make sure that you can see some data. Very important because it doesn't do this by default. Make sure to check show and filter region. Make sure to check that and click OK. If you don't, it will apply the filters, but then you won't be able to change them if you'd like, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Okay, and now notice we have our date between 1-1-2017 and 1231. And look at that, that's a lot cleaner now. We have the data now. Um, notice though, Notice that this can get confusing. So if you do something like this, you wanna make sure you, you are very clear on what filter is superseding. I can change this to 2018 and refresh it, and it will give me data all the way through 2018, which is great and exactly how most of us wanna see it if we would want to run our financial reports. 
However, the period is now being superseded by the date. Even if I change the period and I say here, show me until December 2019, this actually will not show me up till December 2019 because we have a filter that is saying, no, I only want to see until 2018. Okay. Now, if we did want to see until 2019, we can change the filter here. And let's test one more thing out and say, show me until December 2017. And when we do that, you notice again, the although we had until 2018, it's only showing me until December 2017 because this will now supersede, it's the earlier date. So you have to just be careful when you play with that. Obviously it's easiest just to keep it at your most recent period, in this case, one February, refresh, and then you can play with your dates. But usually this works really well in terms of helping people uh, filter out. Important part is make sure you're in the subsidiary you want. Obviously you have all kinds of filters if you're using any other kind of segmentation to filter your financial reports. This is a demo environment with multi-subsidiaries. Uh, in this case, I chose US one. Obviously if I chose, let's say, North America as a whole, I could refresh that and it would show me North America as a whole. Uh, assuming there was data. In this case, we don't have data to show, but I'm going to show US one here. Refresh this. How's that show? I hope this is helpful. I hope you set up your financial reports. It's something that's very basic. I know most of us uh, like to see reports month after month, and this is an easy way to filter and have what you uh, need in terms of the report. Thank you, and I hope this is helpful.